dear students in our today's lecture uh, we will discuss one of the important topics that is principal axis and principal moment of inertia so for this uh, we will consider a lamina uh, let me draw it here we will consider a lamina here this lamina has its axis that is x axis and y axis y axis its area is capital a the area of the lamina is equal to capital a area of lamina lamina is equal to capital a uh, now this lamina has its coordinate axis as x axis and uh, y axis which are passing through the centroid of this lamina we will consider an area element that is da and uh, the coordinates of that area element with respect to this will be x and y in other words the small area element i will choose here suppose this is a small area element here small area element that is small area element and i will take this small area element uh, in an isolation so that uh, to understand the concept of the principal axis and principal moment of inertia suppose this is the small area element i have taken here and it is uh, coordinates with respect to these axes b that is this is y and x here this is our x axis and y axis the product of inertia of this plane area will be given by that is equal to integral xy da that will be equal to product of inertia which we have drawn in our previous lectures now what we will do this is now very important when we rotate the axis through 90 degrees in anti clockwise direction then the element area da shifts to the second quadrant as it was in the first quadrant it shifts to the second quadrant therefore it is ordinates take up the position that is x dash and y dash which i will show here this is this is our this is here this is y dash this is x dash 
and the x dash this is here y dash because when we rotated this through 90 degrees in anticlockwise direction the element area got shifted to the second quadrant and ordinates take up the positions that is x dash y dash therefore the product of inertia after rotation becomes that is i x dash y dash is equal to integral x dash y dash da as we have rotated it so distance is also uh, got the uh, new positions but uh, when we see the proportionality uh, we can easily conclude that x dash is equal to y and y dash is equal to minus x which you can see and observe from this uh, proportionality of this area element when it shifted from the first quadrant to second quadrant so in other words i can say this is i x dash y dash equal to or x dash equal to minus integral x y d a which is equal to minus i x y this this uh, shows that when the axes are rotated the product of inertia for the plane area changes its sign and becomes negative you got it so this implies that there are certain directions of axes uh, for which the product of inertia is equal to zero such axes about which the product of inertia is equal to zero are termed as principal axes of the lamina so when we take the plane geometrical figures which are symmetrical about one or about both axes the product of inertia about their centroidal axes is always equal to zero very important so obviously the uh, centroidal axes are the principal axes so there will always be two principal axes at a given point in a lamina and that will be mutually perpendicular to each other which we have shown here the moment of inertia about the principal axis is called principal moment of inertia the moment of inertia about one of the axis will be maximum and about another will be the minimum the maximum moment of inertia is called major principal moment of inertia and the minimum moment of inertia is called the minor principal moment of inertia i hope uh, you may have got the concept of the principal moment and principal axis